Hi there. Well, I've got a really nice engine here today. I absolutely love this engine. And I've been doing a little bit of work on it over the last few couple of videos. I've made a new spray bar for it and I've made a new needle and spring to uh, like a ratchet spring. So if you haven't seen those and you're interested, have a look in the description below and there'll be links to those uh, videos. But now we've got this lovely engine finished and it's ready for the test stand. And we're gonna get it in the test stand in just a very short while. Now this is a three and a half cc diesel engine. And it was made in the Czech Republic by a gentleman called Vaclav Sajetskal. I hope I pronounced that right. And <laughs> he was clearly uh, an artisan. It's not only uh, functional, but it just looks really really nice so I'll tell you what we'll take a closer look and uh, and then we'll get it in the test stand and just to show you before I do there's a couple of adverts here the first one is from 1965 and that shows this engine and this is from Model Air magazine in fact both of them are from Model Air magazine and you can see from that advert I think it's that advert it's uh, 0.5 1.5, 2.5 and 3.5 cc designations that they made this engine in and this is the biggest one. And here is the second advert which is from a year later in 1966. So again from the same magazine. Anyway, let's take a closer look. Now this lovely engine was given to me by one of my subscribers, Jeff, who I am extremely grateful for because uh, it just a very kind gesture but also it's an absolutely gorgeous engine I just love everything about it you've got this lovely uh, compression screw here with the, just the little bits of detail you've got the locking um, uh, bar you've got this lovely shape polished head with a thicker fin on the top which is just really really nice and you can see these kind of columns or as I like to think of them muscles on the side of this engine uh, which kind of suggests to me this is going to be quite a nice, powerful engine. Now, in the previous videos, I've made the spray bar, as I said, and the, uh, the needle. I also made a, a new washer. So I, I was very fortunate. Peter Valchek, uh, extremely uh, uh, helpful and knowledgeable person, had an engine like this, and he sent me some very detailed drawings of, uh, of the spray bar so that I could make one that was authentic. Now I'm going to be running this to start with on, I've got a, let me just zoom out, I've got a 10 by 6 tornado prop here and uh, that should be quite nice, it shouldn't work this engine too hard and it's also the same prop that I ran on a similar th or another 3.5cc engine, a DC 350, uh, a, a while back. And I was getting about 800 RPM on that. So I think this will give us a little bit more because it's uh, a more modern engine, but also um, I, just, I just think it will, essentially. Um, and then I'm going to try it on... Uh, this 9x4, assuming everything goes well on the 10x6. We'll try it on the 9x4 and uh, we'll we'll see what this engine can do. I, I must admit, I don't want to push it too hard because I'd be uh, extremely upset if anything happened to this engine, i.e. if it blew up. <laughs> so I, uh, I am going to be careful with it. Anyway, let's get this thing in the test stand and see how it runs. Right, well, I've got this... Uh engine in this test stand and I've got a 10 by 6 prop which you can see is a tornado prop and uh, now I have no idea where the settings are on this so it could take a little bit of starting but it seems to draw fuel really well so we'll try it at the current settings and if need be we'll alter them Give this a little bit of a port prime. Always helps. Let's just increase the compression a little bit.
<laughs> wow, that ran lovely. Really did. So, now we've got the, uh, the settings right. It's just, before we change it, oh, that's a bit hot. <laughs> before we change this, uh, the prop for a smaller prop, we'll just uh, give it a minute to cool down and we'll just see how easy it starts on this prop. So, but yeah, that was nice. Right, well that has cooled down now. I mean, you can still feel a little bit of heat, but it's, it's marginally lukewarm. <laughs> so before we dive in and give it a, a, uh, a port prime, we'll just try choking it a couple of times and see if that will start it. I suspect we'll need to port prime it. Yeah, I think we're going to need to port prime that. So we'll give it a squirt. sticking contra piston there um, unless that's kind of the full limit of it which I I have found in diesels before now right try it now a little bit of a port prime again not a bad starter. I've had easier but I've had a hell of a lot worse so no I'm quite pleased with that. Oh. <laughs> well that started nicely. That's, uh... That's really lovely and starting lovely. I think uh, I'll change that prop and we'll put on a, I think it's, yeah, 9x4. And uh, we may not run it long on a 9x4. Depends uh, how much difference it makes. <laughs> In other words, how fast it goes. Okay, so we've got the prop changed. And uh, like I say, if it revs too fast, I won't be uh, running it very long on this prop. Give it a bit of a 
bit of a pork pie. It's a cold wind this morning. Whoa! There we go. That's what we like to hear. and I can hear my ears ringing a little bit. Um, I didn't want to run it too much on that. I mean, it's not a, a hugely fast speed, but um, you know, it is a nice old engine and I'd hate anything to happen to it, but that ran beautiful. And the oil that's coming out of there is really nice and clean, just a faint color to it. But um, yeah, oh, that is lovely, really nice. <laughs> well, what can I say? What an absolutely gorgeous engine. I mean, it not only looks lovely, but now we know that it runs as sweet as a nut. And what were we getting with the 10x6? We were getting about, was it eight and a half thousand? I seem to remember. Uh, or was it 9,000? I can't remember, but you'll have seen the Taco. It was a good speed. And uh, it was certainly quicker than the three and a half cc DC uh, 350 that I ran a while back. Um, but with this, uh, what was it, um, nine by four prop on it, what were we getting? It was about 11,000, wasn't it? And it really motored, but it ran as steady as anything. Uh, it's interesting that the contra piston will only back off to a certain point. And being a short stroke like this, it wouldn't surprise me if that was the limit of its movement. It's not stuck because it feels very free in the rest of the range, it just stops at that point. So I think that is the way it's designed. It's, <laughs> it's not a slow running engine. This was designed to make a noise and to really turn this prop, I think. Well, I have thoroughly enjoyed running this engine. I, I hope you've enjoyed seeing it as well. But also, it's been well worth it. Every second I've spent turning this needle valve, spray bar has been worth it to hear this in the test stand. So it's, it's been a great little project and I've really enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen the two previous videos, go back and have a look where we're actually making up these components so we can get this gorgeous old 1960s engine running. And uh, it's a lovely, lovely engine. As you would expect out of the Czech Republic, their engines are just gorgeous. Anyway, I'm gonna stop uh, going on about how lovely this is. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching.